Jason back with another quick update. Um, just kind of a spontaneous video. Uh, today is Black Friday. Um, I went up to PetSmart to try to see if I could get like a five or ten gallon tank so I could work on having a quarantine system set up for when the system's up and running. Um, and there was some really, really good deals up there today. Um, I mean, for a quarantine tank, you just need like a five or ten gallon tank. Um, something to, you know, for surface agitation to oxygenate the water and uh, um, really don't even need a light. Like ambient light in a room um, would be plenty for a quarantine. Um, they had up there the top fin 5.5 gallon. Um, but it's normally like $55 for like 19 bucks today, 19.99 I think it was which comes with like a power uh, filter, uh, a lid, and an LED uh, light in the lid. And uh, then they had like the 10 gallon version of the same thing, uh, which is normally like $100, and that was like $54 or $44, I think it was, yeah, $44. So um, I went around the corner, I had the 10 gallon in my, or the sorry, the five gallon. Um, I'm, my system is going to be very small, so the fish I'm going to be adding are small, so I don't need a huge quarantine tank. Um, I was going to pick up the 5.5 gallon, went around the corner, uh, and then they had this uh, fluval, fluval one here with the LED, um, like kind of an all-in-one um, for, it was normally $110, and they had it for $54. I did a quick Google search and found a 10% coupon off my phone and uh, I think I paid $49 for the whole thing. So a uh, fancy quarantine basically. Um, comes with this LED strip here. Um, you don't, like I said, you don't really need lights. Like the, the one thing you need light for, I guess, in a quarantine tank is so that you can actually inspect the fish to see, uh, look at the gills. Uh, for a couple things like red velvet or look for white spots for ick. Um, um, I had a really bad habit in the past of not quarantining my fish and I had a clown fish that I had for about six years um, and I introduced a new fish and killed my clown fish within a couple of weeks. The, the fish I added died within a couple of days and then my clown fish got ick and didn't recover and he, he was dead and at that point um, uh, just told myself I'm never gonna go through that again Considering like a lot of people think you got to set up this big elaborate expensive quarantine system um, You don't you just you can just um, Basically what you do at least what I do going forward is you just crush up some coral throw it in your sump in a in a so that you can uh, Throw it in your system for quick cycling just do water changes every day or every other day even um, and that'll keep the ammonia in check and the fish will be fine in there for a month. Uh, that way, you, you know, in a system like this too, you can medicate it and everything like that and do larger water changes and the fish will be fine. Um, comes with this little, like, I think this is like that carbon type foam, but um, I could be wrong. It just might be just be a sponge. Um, then it has like a little thing so you can throw like carbon, a little pouch of carbon in there. This is for biological filtration. Um, I don't think I'll be using either of these, but I'll just probably use something similar to this, but with crushed coral. Obviously, if you're going to add medication into the system, um, you don't want carbon in there to suck up all the medication. So um, that's pretty much it. Else, um, you know, I basically wanted something with a lid, and uh, you know, it has a lid. And the light goes, sorry, I'm doing this one with one hand. Uh, the light just attaches right onto the back, like so. And that's pretty much it. It comes with this little tiny pump here. Has the little two little sections in there, so you can throw a heater in there as well. This just drops down in here. 
trying to do this one handed, not so easy. Sorry. Not easy at all. There we go. So that just drops down in there. We've got a little connects through and then has this little uh... but for uh, you know maybe after I'm done using this for a quarantine maybe I do a small planted tank or something who knows um, but simple I'm gonna plug these lights in and kind of show what those do I, I haven't done it myself yet so going to do it off the tank. Now I guess I would just hook this up to a little timer which I have a, probably a closet full of them here. That's bright. So it looks like it has. It's got two blue LEDs. In the middle and then the rest of it's just white and that will that'll be just fine for the most part I won't even use the light only but for, but for inspecting so good deal all right that's gonna be it for today try to get this video up and over on there so people can check it out maybe go get one of these themselves